Got two cameras. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think you think this is easy? <laughs> yeah. You think I got this far with one camera? Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> And today we're sitting in a dark void. Welcome. So if you've been paying any attention to me, which you, you probably shouldn't in the past few weeks, uh, you may have noticed that I've been going on and on and on about a series that I want to make on my furry channel. This is my furry channel, guys. And guess what? This is the series. Basically, in case it wasn't already obvious from the title, and that is a real concern because I haven't actually figured out what I'm going to title this series yet, but if it wasn't obvious from the title, this series is going to be focused around myself learning how to make fursuits. I've always really wanted to make fursuits, I've always been really interested in it, and I find that I work better in 3D than I do in 2D, so if I can force myself to want to draw, even though I find it a lot harder, then I'm sure I can force myself to cut up some foam in the shape of an animal head. But beyond that, I want to make everything. I want to make an entire fucking suit, and I want it to look professional. So that is the aim of this series. We're going from me not knowing absolutely anything about fursuit making, to hopefully making a full professional quality fursuit. It's gonna be a long series, guys. It's gonna be a long fucking series. Legitimately, I have no idea how long the series is gonna go for because it could take me six years to learn how to make a decent suit. Hopefully by then I'll have realized that this was clearly not my calling, but if not, then hey, got six years of content. I think it's gonna be a really fun idea because I've always wanted to make a suit and I still always have trouble thinking of what to do for YouTube, so pff, two birds, one stone, all that good shit. Here we are, enjoy this hot mess. Throughout this series I want to cover absolutely everything, from making all the parts of a first suit and hopefully doing it well, to all the things that you don't normally see as much, like finding the materials, buying the materials, storing the materials, because I literally can't close my cupboard at the moment. There is a lot of foam in there. And also other things like building a business, budgeting, building up a brand for your business, all of that that, you know, is just going to be an absolute pain in the ass. I know that quite a lot of people in the fandom are interested in making their own suits, so I thought this would be a good series to follow along with and you can watch me make mistakes rather than make them yourself. Cool! I'm just, I'm just a super nice time saver guy. Hi! I'm hoping to pretty much give each topic its own episode at least so we can get really nice and in-depth and figure out just why we suck so much. So much. So if there is a particular topic you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the description. Not the fucking description, the comments. I write the description, you write the comments. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to cover, or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Blue the Dragon. Partially because you guys are great, and audience participation is fun, but also because audience participation means YouTube recommends my videos. Haha, <laughs> play in the game! But anyway, for today's topic, we're gonna take a rewind, we're gonna look back. There's nothing but blackness there. We're gonna look back at when I made my first fursuit head ever. So earlier this year, I was actually in the UK because I was lucky enough to be invited as a guest of honor to Just For The Weekend, which is in Bristol in the UK. Check it out, guys, if, you, if you're in the area, even if you're not, fucking fly there. Check it out, it was a good time. It was a really good time. Anyway, so I was in the UK and I'm like, well, I'm here now. It took me like fucking 30 hours to get here. So I'm not leaving for at least a month. And I, I didn't. So sorry about that, everyone I inflicted my presence upon. But also, you're so fucking welcome. So I traveled around a bit, saw the UK, stayed with some friends, stayed with some family. And while I was in Scotland with my friend Bushy, we made a mess. <laughs> While I was in Scotland with my friend Bushi, she hooked me up with her friend Poe, who happens to be a fursuit maker, and, well, we made fursuit heads. Or at least attempted to. I'd never made a fursuit head at all. I'd never done anything like that. In fact, the closest I had come to ever making a fursuit head was sculpting with clay in year seven. That was cool. Some good, good prior experience there. But I was so fucking excited, I was so fucking keen, I got right into that shit. We're gonna learn how to make a fursuit head. Yay! This is Poe. Hi. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Poe knows things. Poe is gonna share knowledge. Showing us the wonders. <sighs> so we've got these. Do, 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 do. Very nice, very nice. Poe brought around some patterns that we actually cut up and they were individual pieces of the face, like the brow, the cheek, the muzzle and all of that. And basically you cut them out and then glued them together on top of the head, on top of a balaclava to essentially piece together the head. 
that makes sense. So you've cut how many? I've cut four. I've cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Poor did mine. <laughs> and Bo did the rest of yours. I'm all like a little hat. What? That's not an excuse. It is an excuse. It's a how valid excuse. How big are hands? They're pretty small. Jeff Oh, uh, Jaffa cakes? Jeff cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. I barely a difference. What do you mean? That's my nails. My fingers. Are I don't think that, I don't think that gives her an advantage though. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> For what, eight years? Yeah, that's the advantage. Mm. Personally, every time I'd researched making a fursuit head, the methods I found the most appealing were the ones where they kind of like carved it down, like start with a big block and carve it down to get the shape you want. However, this method was based on piecing it together and building it up. And the reason I kind of leaned towards the other methods originally is because I like the idea of having less glue involved and less individual pieces that could actually fall apart. Not that you, you would hope it's going to fall apart, but like, you know, just the less, I, I, I don't know. I've got foam. So what's next? I'll uh, start to glue these bitches on to- I'll Start to glue the bitches on. Start to glue these on the bitches. bitches. <laughs> glue the bitches onto this. Start off with the bros. All right, let's do this shit. Start off with the bro. So when I try making a head base by myself, I'm definitely going to go with more the carving down method. Although learning this method to begin with was really cool because I don't think it's anything I would have tried otherwise. Also, I just realized that in most of the footage of me actually making the head, we're just talking shit and watching TV and I'm eating a ludicrous amount of Jaffa cakes. So it's not really that interesting. So I guess I'll just talk over it. I think overall I spent about three hours making the foam base. I'm not really sure. I got very in the zone, very fucking in the zone. Wow, I'm just crushing it on the English language today. It's a very similar feeling to when you're drawing and you get sucked in and everything around you just flies past and you don't notice shit. I can see myself getting very baked and spending hours and hours snipping at foam, just snipping my life away. I honestly did not get stuck as much as I thought I would. I had to ask for help once or twice, but most of the time I was just kind of really keen to figure out things myself and work through problems my own way because I find that a lot of the time mistakes can lead to really awesome realizations just because you're trying to problem solve. When something fucks up, you have to look at it from a different angle to see what you can do to fix that. So that different angle can often open new possibilities that you didn't know were there and then bam, you've learned something new you wouldn't have otherwise. Mistakes are fucking cool unless they're public. Then they're terrifying. So, oh, this is where we're up to with the heads. Um, you didn't do shit on I yours. I did everything! <laughs> Poe did, like, everything for Bushi. I did, I did my own, other than the pattern. So I'm not gonna try and take credit for that. I've just been told what to do. But, it's fun. Yeah, that's, yeah. That Look at my pinball. <laughs> I think a lot of it's trial and error, especially when it comes to carving the foam head because it's like I'd add a bit and then it was too big so I'd cut it down and I'd be like, oh shit, I cut too much off so I'd rip the whole bit off and then I'd do it again and then the shape wasn't right and the shape was right or the part was glued too high. A lot of it was trial and error, just like well, everything that I do personally is trial and error. I never know what I'm doing. I'm always confused. I just smile and laugh a lot so people think I'm doing good. I did try using a box cutter to cut down the foam, but I found that scissors personally worked a lot better for me because I felt like I had more control. With the box cutter, I felt like it was too easy to kind of like veer off and cut too deep or too shallow, whereas the scissors were kind of just like straight line. You can't really unless you literally turn while you're doing it. I just found the scissors had more control. But I have been told at the time and since then that the electric knives are like the turkey cutters that go, you know, that example was really necessary. <laughs> Apparently those are really good, so I might invest in one of those. You can get them from Kmart for like 15 bucks or something, so that might be the go for me personally. Who the fuck knows? I haven't tried it yet, have I? Hello. Love me. Oh, you really don't. It doesn't love anyone. Oh, date. That is fucking awesome, actually. Oh, thank you. You do. You definitely get a knife for this. Bless you. It is a tiger. Mm. Sort of. We're getting there. It's got the high cheekbones. Got the high cheekbones, you know. We're gonna make the bottom jaw thicker. Yeah, thicken it out. And we're gonna round it. So then we've got the fluffy cheeks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring it round here so they're nice and fluffy. Nice. So the fur will come up and it'll sort of flick out. Awesome. Perfect. Dealing with hot glue was also a lot of 
time, basically. Uh, there was a lot of holding the pieces in place while I waited for the glue to be set enough to let go, which was time. It wasn't too bad, just make sure that you have something to watch or something that doesn't require you physically interacting with it to entertain you so that you can not go insane while you're holding a fucking cheek on the side of a foam animal face for 20 minutes. Also definitely be prepared for a mess because there was foam everywhere. And I mean, we haven't even got to the fucking fur stuff yet. This is just the foam base. So if you're gonna do fursuit making, be prepared, have 7,000 vacuum cleaners. <laughs> like, I kid you not, there was foam all over the floor and I, I, I can't even imagine fur at this point. Overall, making a foam head base was not as hard as I thought it would be. I was actually really intimidated by it, so I'd been putting it off for a long time and I'm really excited that I've done it now and that it was easier than I thought because I need to burp. Because uh. now I'm just excited to try the rest because it might not be as bad as I think. So that's fucking cool. And I guess that's more or less it for my first fursuit head. I did want to go more in depth, but it, uh, it, it didn't work out that way, did it? When you film a video with friends who don't normally film videos, uh, generally you all forget you're filming a video and it turns to shit. So I'm surprised I even ended up with the footage I did. <laughs> yeah, in the next video, I'm gonna attempt to build my second foam head base and I'll be doing that actually in the video and talking as it happens. So uh, that'll be fucking terrible. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and also turn on notifications. I'm sorry that I'm asking you to do this, but several thousand people have been telling me that they are not getting my videos in their sub box. So if you do want to actually stay up to date with what I'm doing, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe the... I'm not doing that again. Make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and uh, you can stay up to date. Don't forget to leave me some topics in the comments below. Also, if you don't have a topic you want to see me cover, then, you know, just tell me what your favorite juice is. I really like orange because it's like classic. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. But until then, 